Well, guys, I just want to um, just want to show you. I've had a um, I had a Conoflex blank given to me by my mate Steve Brookman. Cheers, boy. Sat in my garage for about three years, and I never got it built um, until now. I phoned up loads of people, loads of different rod builders I spoke to, um, asking for prices and blah 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 blah. I spoke to them on the phone. One of them was quite rude. I'm not going to say no names. One of them was quite rude. Talked to me quite like I didn't know what I was talking about. Um, I don't know what eyes I want or what real seats I want or what, what grips I want or anything like that. Until I walked into Medway Tackle Supplies in Twiddles, my local tackle shop, Mick King Diamond and Lewis Diamonds. Um, they get their rods built by Chris Dance. Chris Dance is a very, very good rod builder. Built loads of Conoflexes. Sorry, built loads of Ziplexes, I swear then, um, for them. Um, so he, they, he asked them if he could build my Conoflex for me. And literally, I walked into his shop. He said, "What eyes? What eyes do you want? What real seats do you want?" So I don't know. Went over to the rack of rods that they've got, built by Chris. A lot of ziplexes. I said, "I like them eyes. I like that whipping. I like that colour. I like that real seat. I like that grip." Before I know it, bang, done. So what I'm trying to say is, give him a go. Give him a go. Speak to him. It's so much easier. I literally just took the blank in there, picked a rod off the off the rack, said light them eyes. That's what I want. Get it done, basically. Um, the build is faultless. It's, this has been like factory dipped or something by Ziplex um, in a Ziplex factory. But um, this is a no. <laughs> it wasn't an old rod that was built. It was a it was a brand new blank that I had. Um, it was a semi carbon. Uh, eight to twelve pound class boat rod it said on it um and he's 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 done with this it's absolutely stunning i just can't i can't get over this video doesn't do it justice but look at the build quality on it it's amazing um you can't get a better than that you really can't so yeah head over to midway tackle supplies and uh have a word with Mick and, and uh, Lewis, and they'll uh, help you out. They'll put you through. But them eyes, oh, lovely. So I want to, can't wait to give this a go. It's nice and light. Um, I'm gonna put a reel on it in a minute and put a bit of line for it. But yeah, I just can't get over it. It's lovely. I'm like a kid in a sweet shop, mate. When I when I when I got it, you cannot get a better rod than that. I don't know how well this is going to come out, but you can never judge a rod by the look as well. Like, put a reel on it and put line for it and see the way it bends. Because they do bend tests. When a, when a decent rod builder makes a rod, he will put uh, the eyes, he'll do a bend test and he will put the eyes where they need to go. Now, I've had another, I had another Conoflex rod. Um, and if you look where the, that last eye is, that wasn't there. So when I bent into a fish, the rod, the line literally went the other side of the rod. Now, you can see this is literally tied it through the door, um, <clears throat> just for the video, but it's got some, it's quite tippy, sort of like, sort of J-curve, I'd say. Um, it's a semi-carbon, semi-carbon rod, which means it's, it's a carbon, with carbon with like a fiberglass tip. Um, so yeah, it's it's nice. I love it. It's just an old pen, which probably goes quite well. It's quite balanced actually, so I might even just leave that, leave one of them on there. But yeah, as you can see, it's a nice rod. 